Good morning. I am Miss Amy and I'm here to read you Gilbert the Great by Jane Clark and Charles Fudge. From the time Gilbert the Great White Shark was a tiny pup, Raymond the Remora stuck to him like glue. Raymond was always at Gilbert's side. When Gilbert was stuck in the seaweed, Raymond untangled him. When Gilbert got dirty, Raymond cleaned him up. And when Gilbert lost his first row of teeth, Raymond helped him collect them for the tooth fairy. Gilbert and Raymond had lots of fun. They loved to play finball, tide and seek, and sardines. They shared everything. Then one day, Raymond told Gilbert that his family had to move across the ocean. I don't want to go, but my mom says I have to, cried Raymond. As Raymond and his family swam away, Gilbert's mother hugged him tight and tried to comfort him. Raymond's my best friend, said Gilbert. Why did he have to go away? It's not fair. I know, said Mom, but his family couldn't just leave him behind. She kissed Gilbert on the snout. Go and play tide and seek with the pilot fish. It will keep your mind off Raymond. But Gilbert couldn't stop thinking about his friend. I want to move with Raymond, Gilbert said. He's moved too far away, said Mom. We have to stay here. Let's go watch the basketball game. The thrashing thrashers are playing the title tigers. Who do you hope wins? Gilbert looked around. There were remoras everywhere, but none of them was Raymond. I don't care, he said, and he swam off before either side scored a basket. It's my fault Raymond moved, Gilbert snapped as he passed an eel. Last week, I called him a sucker. You didn't make Raymond leave, Mom smiled. Everyone fights sometimes. The clownfish did their best to cheer, cheer Gilbert up, but nothing could, could make him smile. The next day at school, everyone was very kind to Gilbert. They even gave him an extra long turn on the seesaw. Cheer up, said Marvin the Mallet. There's plenty of fish in the sea. There isn't another raven, raven, said Gilbert. Gilbert was still sulking when mom came to collect him from school. It's just not the same without Raymond, Gilbert pouted. That night, Gilbert cried and cried and cried and his warm tears mingled with the cold water. The next morning, Mom took Gilbert gently by the fin and, and towed him into, a shallow, into the shallow water. Rocked by the gentle waves, they gazed out at the seashore and the bright blue sky. Oh, I hope Raymond's new home is nice as this, said Gilbert. Oh, I'm sure it is, said Mom. I'm hungry, Gilbert said suddenly. We'll go to the wreck, said Mom. Gilbert's eyes lit up. They didn't usually go to the wreck. Mom didn't like him eating junk food. Scrunch, munch, scrunch. As Gilbert was biting into a pile of tin cans and bits of old boat, he spotted a small remora crying in the shadows. Gilbert stopped crunching and swam towards her. What's the matter? Gilbert asked. Mom and I moved away and I had to leave my shark behind, she sobbed. Now I don't have any friends. Oh, my remora had to move too, said Gilbert sadly. I have been so lonely. Gilbert and the remora looked at each other and smiled wobbly smiles. I'm Gilbert, said Gilbert. I'm Rita, replied the remora. Just then, a ray of sunshine filtered through the deep blue ocean. Gilbert's teeth flashed as he grinned a huge grin. 
Do you want to play finball with me, Rita? He asked. Sunlight danced in Rita's eyes. I'd love to, she said, and the two new friends swam off to find a ball to play with. The end.